you cool cats and welcome back to another episode of Yeast 8 where I am finishing up I'll get the started. upgrades on my party members Ooh, here. It's complete. So right there that should be the last upgrade and now we've got these three characters all, right. all fixed up and ready. Um, we are about to go down that other path that I left behind. Because we went one way and gathered up a bunch of people and stuff, but it looks like the the story progression is behind that path. So we're going to go ahead and make that our next destination. There's something in the tree. Yeah. Just thinking about how we need to have like 20 people is, is kind of amazing that I, I don't remember everybody that was on the ship anymore, really. I've forgotten a lot of them. Like I'm trying to think of like who else I remember on the ship. I remember there being a blue haired glasses guy. Um, who else do I remember? Like, I remember some of the people that were, like, like ship crew members, but I don't know if we're going to be finding them. We might only be finding, like, the non-ship people. Just kill that thing, please. <clears throat> So, like, the thought of there being, like, 20 people left together, or, like, not 20 left together, but 20 total is kind of insane. Seems like the neck of woods is getting thicker and thicker. Must be a jungle up ahead. This area seems free of beasts, Mr. Kristen. Shall we set camp up for the night? You know what that means? I'm gonna have another weird dream. Hoo hoo! There's an owl. I gotta say, Castaway Village is starting to get pretty lively. We got all sorts of folks from different walks of life helping out. True. But I'm having a hard time warming up to certain people there. <laughs> like who? Car crash? Huh? Well, who are you talking about? Oh, you mean that stuffed shirt, Carlin? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you are so... So, what's your problem with people anyway? I don't have a problem with anyone. Don't put words in my mouth. You, you kind of just said that you did. <laughs> you always so uptight round folks what ain't just like you? Hmm. Perhaps. But I'm starting to realize something. There are so many people in this world, all with different histories, attitudes, and beliefs. And while those differences may cause conflict, they are also key to understanding one another. We are all unique individuals. We all contribute in our own way. One might say we're the masters of our own relationships. Huh. Didn't expect that kind of talk out of you, Hummel. But you're right. That's what makes the world so interesting. Yes. When you think about it, it's rather obvious. Perhaps... Perhaps I don't know as much as I think I do. Tell me, what's a little lady like you doing traveling all by herself anyway? Why... Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady such personal questions? <laughs> Let's just retire for the evening. Clean. Must clean. Who 
Who's mumbling about cleaning? The sanctuary is destroyed, all because you unleashed a flash flood to put out that fire. Not once in the history of this temple has an incident of such magnitude ever occurred. And to make matters worse, Donna, you had Olga and Sarai acting as your accomplices. I know an apology won't make this right, but I'm very sorry for my role in all of this. I have no idea who's talking, so I'm just going to keep going along. I'm sorry, too. <laughs> I've been well acquainted with Donna's indomitable spirit over the years. Your eminence? Had these children not taken action, the great tree in the temple would have been in grave danger. I shall see to it personally that Her Majesty knows full well what transpired here. As you wish, Your Eminence. What happened here is inexcusable. Come along, Donna. I... Look who's awake. Let's get going. Yes, let's. Okay. You better off thank me. I guess we're gonna have to go through here, huh? It looks like we didn't completely uncover everything back there. Well, oh, something's there. I'll go back for it later. Slam jungle? Slam jungle? Who is naming these places? What's this person here? I thought I saw him come this way. Damn it. Must be imagining things. Over there. I think that might be another castaway, but I don't recognize him. Huh? Looks like he's headed our way. of this <laughs> her favorite phrase nope it's none of you are you looking for someone <laughs> none of your business ah uh, okay we are on an island that has like you know just nothing but us and monsters and you're just gonna be like this What's your deal? Exactly. Tell him off. Urine? I'm an officer of the Roman Empire Military Police. Just call me Euron. Euron. Okay. Like, you're on. <laughs> Military Police? They're the branch of the Roman military responsible for enforcing the law, but I've heard they mostly concern themselves with rooting out sedacious elements within the Empire. I don't... Did I even read that word right? I just... Like, my brain just read it without even thinking. Eh, is that what you, people think of us? Some reputation we've earned. Yeah, the bad apples exist. But by and large, most of us are focused on arresting criminals. Anyway, I never forget a face. And you all look very familiar. You were all on the Lombardia, weren't you? You remember us? What can I say? Old habits die hard. Do you know if Captain Barbaros made it ashore? Adela Priest... Uh... Adel proceeds to tell Euron about Captain Barbaros and Castaway Village. 
Castaway Village, huh? That's where I can find Captain Barros and the other passengers? Yes, that's correct. Thank you for your cooperation. Uh... <laughs> Boy, I tell you, that guy is something else. What was that about? He's a professional. I like that. I hope he doesn't cause any trouble in Castaway Village. Military officer? Shouldn't be bad. However, that gives us enough people to... Yes! Yes! Uh, let's abandon... Uh, everything that we're doing is now not important because what's important is... Yeah. Unlocking whatever that is over there. Cause like I am I am feeling Hummel leaving any second now. I'm getting nervous about it. <laughs> like I know I probably said that like three or four episodes ago, but like every time we acquire a new person, I could just feel like somebody being like, I'm getting ready to leave or not work. And I'm like, I don't want to be about that life. What is that? Oh, it's just something to cook at. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna move this. No wonder we needed that many people. All right, let's clean it up. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Up we go. These enemies move fast. I just want to see what's over here, man. Ooh, a treasure chest. So it's just another pretty oh, spot location a view. with a bunch of resources nearby it. Which is not unexpected. That's what a lot of these uh, hidden away areas yeah. are. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here. Yeah. Oh. Right there. Something's there. Right there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, but there was a way down here before. Revive medicine. Oh, I meant to make yeah. medicine back at the the thing. Yeah. 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 Wait. I've been all here. So that's all this was. Was just that. Okay. Let's go back here. Was this where we were? No, 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 no. Wait. Yes, this is where we were. Okay, yeah, this is where Search. I wanted to go. Oh, something's there. <laughs> Getting all mixed up in my head. In head. Fuck. We should go around or it'll slow us down. Oh, there's something yeah. there. Fair enough. For the helpful warning without the usual snide remark. Ah, I thought everything Hummel's been saying was helpful. Okay, so how do I jump up there? A treasure chest. Okay. Is there an ability I can use? Yeah, leave it to the judge. Right there. Your turn, Mr. Kristen. She has a move. I did it. Now fall. Okay. Maybe not that one. Maybe. Why is my controller doing that? Stop. Yes. <laughs> Shield earring too. 
That's that's the that's the ticket. <laughs> that move. That fruit looks juicy. Thanks for that. Level up. That's the thing I needed. That's the thing I needed. Okay, wait. I just realized I also completed the, the pirate bount booty thing and I didn't turn those in. God, I keep remembering stuff that I forgot I've done. I don't remember the time limits on those either. What were the time limits? Oh, well, his is going to explode. Well, whatever. We've got them both. Have you see ever seen anything like that? Oh man, have we just been wasting our time? Oh well, looks like I'm going to have to trouble you for a while too. I guess you're going to have more castaways gathering in this village. Ah, Adol, so you're, you've told Euron about the village. I hear he's a Roman military officer, a policeman. How very impressive. Mr. Euron, allow me to formally introduce myself. I am Captain Barbaros. It's not unusual for this village to get attacked by wild beasts. When that happens, it would be very helpful if you could help us. Mm, yeah, sure. I can hold my own in a fight. Although, if I show my true potential against humans, not beasts. Okay, do 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 do. Let's turn that thing in for you. Pirate booty! That's the treasure! Great job, Adol! Hurry and crack it open! <laughs> Come to Mama! Inside the chest was a handwritten note. What the? Oh man, I hope this isn't a clue to find another treasure chest. Let's see what it says. If you're reading this note, then you must be looking for my treasure. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but there was never any treasure inside this chest. Still, I applaud your courage and cunning, Captain R. Gr what is this? I can't freaking believe this. What a waste of time. Calm down already. Calm down? How the hell am I supposed to calm down? I don't know who Captain R is, but I'll never forgive him. Never. I don't notice that at the bottom of the chest seemed... The bo that the bottom of the chest seems oddly misaligned. He discovered that the treasure chest has a false bottom. He lifted the bottom, revealing a book and another note. Sweet formula. Hey, give me that. Let's see, if you're reading this note, then you found my treasure. You must be pretty sharp to have noticed the false bottom in this treasure chest. Only a fool would let themselves be deceived by such an obvious trick. It's not much, but please take this book. I hope it serves you well. Who's this guy calling a fool? Grr, this Captain R is a real jerk. No one makes a fool out of D D Dina. Not even a dead pirate captain. What about the book? I don't want that stupid book. Still, it's a good thing you noticed that false bottom. I guess I'm a little impressed. Anyway, what's done is done. You better not tell anybody about what happened here at all. I've got a sterling business reputation to uphold, you know? A great job! Nice. Um. <laughs> Thank you. I kind of want more insects. <laughs> this one is special. Insect See you later. <laughs> uh. Okay, I don't think anybody's changed here. 
think we're good. Oh wait! Car crash! Car crash! Wait, I think I need to cook the food first. Do I have the ingredients to cook it? Oh no, I have to learn it first. Boy, am I, am I going through things. Okay, and I should probably cook up some medicine. Let's cook up some medicine. Oh, I didn't realize... Oh, the sweet thing. Okay, but the illustrations seem precise enough for me to understand the procedure. I'm sure this will be of use. Gave sweet formula. Sweet remedy can now be brewed. Oh, nice. How can I help you? Um, I would like to make... This should work. That. <laughs> Take care. Thank you. Um, but now I can. Yes. Food's ready. Here you go, car crash. Oh, what's this? <laughs> it smells delicious. I shall eat it at once. Why, this is delicious. Why did you see, serve this to me sooner? Well, no matter. A reward for your service. Thank you. Thank you very much. Indeed. You should devote more of your time to serving me. However, a meal is not complete without a garnish and a glass of wine. Sir Carlin clapped his hands as if beckoning a non-existent waiter. I say, someone bring me some fruit and a glass of wine, too. No one's going to do that. Hmm. Bah, the service here is terrible. Very well, I shall get it myself. Oh. What an annoying person. Sir Carlin's indignant shouting went ignored by everyone at the village. He, so he stormed off to the warehouse to help himself to some provisions. But he was caught in the act and a heated argument soon erupted in the village. I see. I understand where you're coming from. That being said, you were wrong to take provisions from the warehouse without permission. <laughs> but I was hungry. If anyone is at fault, it's your lot for not coming when I called. That is no excuse. The village's food belongs to everyone, not just you. Th that's right, you selfish jerk. What did you just call me? Everyone, please calm down. Perhaps, at the moment, we don't have enough food to satisfy everyone. Luckily, the exploration team has been consistently returning from their expeditions with foodstuffs. Soon, we'll be able to give everyone in the village a greater share of provisions. What? Really? I think everyone would feel better if they could eat more. I agree. I'll review our inventory and see how much we can increase everyone's provisions. Does that sound acceptable to you, Sir Carlin? <laughs> it's a link, her. Who are you to govern my eating habits? I'd really appreciate it, Sir Car Crash. Uh... Fine! I'll let you have your way this time. Man, glad that's over with. That Carlin guy really can really throw a fit. This ought to shut him up for a while. I wouldn't I wouldn't put any money down on that. Thanks for helping us smooth that over, Adol. We did it! Oh goody. His approval with me has been raised. I bet maxing out his approval rating will somehow make him like help like move stuff around so that way we can explore more areas it would be cruel if it was required for you to like befriend him in order to um unlock like a super secret area anyways back over here I 
have a feeling in this area we're going to get the the thing that lets us either like breathe in water or something because it's going to definitely help us traverse into like bog areas whether that means it's going to give us like maybe something that lets us walk above water or something that lets us breathe in water so that way we can travel to a couple of the areas that we've been to that um that have had like water or bog inaccessible areas oh god I hate this. We have to go here first. I didn't mean to do that. Sometimes you hit buttons and you don't want to hit buttons and you do that. Oh, something's there. This is rare. Right about now is when there needs to be a boss fight, just so that way I get full punishment for using that ability. Okay, hold on. Let me get to that obvious save point. <sighs> Looks like we can rest. That is a boss. All right. <clears throat> I wanted to make it to that save point just so that way um, I can fast travel back here. It makes too much sense to do it that way, right? Okay. Let's do this raid. Wait, 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 wait. Upgrades. <laughs> what do you want to enhance? I just want to see if we can. Roger, give me a second. All finished. So we can make right, it stronger. It. All finished. And then we can add more, All I guess. Right, I got it. All right, it's done. All right. All right, then. All right. Let's do it. Let's go, everyone. <clears throat> I'll handle it. Bring it on. Wait, where am I? Looks like they're here. Where am I? Man, Doki's in 10th. Dina, number That's one. The best there is. <laughs> How wonderful. Apparently. <laughs> we did it, everyone. Nice job. Yes, great job. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Nice work, everyone. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> it was wonderful. Got a ton of nice stuff. Woo. All right. I want to go and, and spend some on upgrading. Uh... <gasps> well, what if I need it more? Hold on. What should I upgrade? I could upgrade his weapon or I haven't been using him I at all. 
Or I could get better armor. You know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend anything on anything yet. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play for a little bit, and if at the end of uh, the stream I still have leftover materials, I'll do that. All right. So where were we? Shlom Jungle Mid. Okay. Looking over here. That looks like a dead end right there. I, okay, so I think we have to do this boss fight. Magmandra. Okay. 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 Maybe... Can I only attack certain ones? Okay, imagining this is going to be some sort of... Okay, yeah, as I thought. When worn, you can walk across bogs and swamps, use them to reach otherwise inaccessible areas. That makes sense, because looking around, like, I, would, I needed a way to traverse through, um... I don't need the darkness thing here. Oh! I think we can use these to walk across the bogs. Ooh, we <laughs> big fish. Well then, lucky us. Feels like What's a big one today. Feels like a big one. Gotcha. We did it. There was a way, there was stuff behind me in that area. I'll just, you know what, I'll check it back later because I can always teleport there. Let's just keep going this way. Or maybe, you know what, no, 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 no. It's probably a dead end. This is probably the way forward. We might as well check the dead end way. You know? Pirate's note four. More than half of us have died since we came ashore on this island. Things have gotten quieter now that those treach treacherous mutineers have keeled over. Even a fool knows that riches and power won't help you on this island. Pity I didn't realize that sooner. Where's this way lead? Oh, there's something there. Ah, this leads me back to the beginning. So this is the, the rather kind <gasps> loop around. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Hey. 
I imagine that this is going to dead end, and then that area before that was, um, that had that giant bog that I couldn't cross through, I'm willing to bet that's the, the new story path forward that I need to go through. What? Oh, who was that? Someone just ran away from us. Let's follow him, Mr. Kristen. I wonder if that's the person that that, um... That guy came in here looking for. You're on, I mean. We can't escape the island till we rescue every castaway. You already have a way off the island? No, not quite. The captain intends to build a ship, but it will take some time. Good to go! A treasure chest. Ripe coconut. A good place to fish. This episode might run a little long, but we'll get there. I got one. I imagine I'll cut out a lot of that um tower defense fighting. Well, better than nothing. I just want to hit like a dead end or something. Oh, something's there. Which looks like we're coming up to because I see a save point. So. Looks Maybe like another you. boss fight? This looks like a boss fight. One more boss! For the road! What's that? Huh. Think it's that shady fellow what ran from us earlier? Could be a beast, though it's likely a person. Guy must be pretty nimble if he can move through all this muck. Come, we must follow him. Wait. Why? We're not alone. The swamp has a swamp beast. Cause it, we had a save point, so there had to be a boss. Yeah, this episode's gonna run long. It is. Cause I, I wanna I wanna see whoever's on the other side of this, so I don't wanna cliffhanger the episode like that. A hippopotamus with electric Butterfly wings? I don't know what that even is. I'm gonna regret this. Okay. It's coming. Be careful. Oh. Oh shoot! It continues on to land. I definitely didn't want to do that. That was not what I wanted. <laughs> okay. 
It's out of the... This is where I would have wanted to use that ability that I wasted! Got it. Nelly, okay. Any treasure for that? Beautiful, well done fight? I'm joking. I wasn't very good. I guess the treasure will be meeting the person on the other side of this. The coastline. Now to find that guy who kept running from us. Huh? I don't see him anywhere. But that's not possible. He's probably just <gasps> hiding somewhere. Yeah. Oh, there's something there. <laughs> that fruit looks delicious. Yeah, see, he's right there. Let's let's uh let's do some fishing though before we move on. There. On guard. I'll check with them in a second. See if this is a dead end. It looks like a dead end. Alright. Nothing else here except to meet you. You sense a present behind the rocks. Call out to it? Call out. D don't come any closer. I'm begging you, please. Huh? Someone's hiding back there. He sounds terrified. Please don't be afraid. We're here to rescue you. How do- okay, I don't know how to do a timid voice. R -r really Yes, just come down. Calm down and come out. Uh, hello. This guy looks pretty fragile. Hmm. Why the heck were you running away from us? Um, well, I was on a ship that ended up sinking. So you were a passenger aboard the Lombardia? E yes. My name is Licht. Licht. Okay. Hi, Licht. Somehow, I barely managed to make it to the shore of this island. But a beast chased me into the jungle, and then I saw this scary-looking man. I apologize. It's just, huh, someone was chasing me, and, um... Scary-looking man? That Roman military officer we saw at the entrance of the, to the forest. He seemed to be actively looking for someone. Did you do something to make him want to chase you? No, I swear. I don't know. No, I swear. I have no clue why he was after me. I just... We were also passengers on the Lombardia, just like you. We can take you to the place where the other castaways have gathered. But really, that would be nice. I don't know what would happen to me here. All right, Mr. Kristen. Let's call little Pero and... Adol! 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 Hey, it's Pero! Perfect timing! Are you calling us back for a raid? Adol, emergency! Emergency! Return to village! Return to village! Huh? An emergency? Has something happened at the village? Return to village! Barbaro's calling you! Sounds pretty serious. Maybe we should get back to the village and see what's up, Adol. Little Pero arrived with sudden news. What happened? What had happened at Castaway Village? An uneasy feeling setting, an uneasy feeling settled on Adol and the others as they headed back to Castaway Village. What happened? 
someone get hurt? Uh, 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 are we there yet? Yeah, guess we're going too fast. You feeling okay? Yeah, I suppose. Oh, Hummel didn't follow us. Damn it! I was just thinking we've got another person. We've now upped our numbers. Oh my god. Hummel has abandoned us. Yeah, I haven't seen him for a while. You think he might have gotten lost? Oh well, I'm sure he'll catch up. My word! Hummel has Adam. left the party. Man, am I glad to see you. I mean, this episode has to end soon, man. <laughs> what seems to be the matter, Doki? Oh, well, I need you guys to stay calm. Captain Barbaros was attacked. <gasps> He's hurt pretty bad. Oh my god, what happened? Oh, was it a beast? Actually, we think a person did this. A person? Are you sure? <sighs> Why would anyone do such a thing? Dr. Kiergaard says his injuries aren't life-threatening. Come with me to the lodge. I'll give you the details there. Oh, Adolf. Something terrible has happened. How's the captain doing, Doc? He's, he has lost a lot of blood. Fortunately, his wounds are healing well, thanks to the medicinal herbs. He has been resting all day, but he just woke up not too long ago. I think he's well enough to see visitors now. I see! That's good news, at least. Still, I recommend that he take it easy for a little while longer. I think I've done all I can, but should the need arise, please don't hesitate to call for me. Thanks, Doc. Please excuse me. I'm so relieved that Dr. Kiergaard is with us. Seriously. Thank you for coming, Adol. Sorry I'm not decent at the moment. I was shocked to hear the news. I apologize. I'm keeping you from rescuing the other castaways. Um, may we ask what happened to you? Yes, of course. I was out patrolling the village, as I do every day. While walking near the shore, I heard a voice call out to me. The moment I turned to face it, something immediately sliced into my chest and limbs. Immediately? Uh, did you recognize the voice? The voice that called out to me belonged to a man, that I'm certain of. But whoever he is, he was wearing a robe and I only saw him from behind. I can't believe I was taken by surprise. I see! I found the captain lying on the ground and we all brought him here. And that's when we noticed this note on one of the tables. Huh? A note? What the... Did... Oh, I will rip you asunder, every last one of you. Nemo, the fish. Gah! This is a death threat. No one in the village is safe. Yeah, this is bad news. The other castaways have already caught wind of this note. It's only a matter of time before everyone starts panicking. Why would a person who wrote this sign it as Nemo? I'm not sure. Nemo is a Roman word. It means nameless. Sorry to keep you waiting, Captain. You're that Ro- <sighs> Crap. You're that Roman officer! Yoron! The Roman capital is being terrorized as late by a perp known as the Nameless Ripper. His victims fit no blood known pattern. He kills men and women, always with a bladed instrument. 
and at the scene of his crime, he always leaves a note that he signs as Nemo. Hmm, I've heard the rumors. A serial killer who has the Roman capital trembling with fear. You think that killer is a person who attacked the captain? Why would a serial killer be on the island in the first place? Hmm. I've been pursuing the Nameless Ripper for a while now. I've got a tip from my partner that a man who fit the Nameless's, nameless's profile was preparing to board a ship. No. Yes, the Lombardia. As soon as I got that tip, I wasted no time securing passage on the Lombardia. I was supposed to rendezvous with my partner so we could take down Nameless together, but... Well, you know what happened. You're, you're saying that we're on the same ship as some psycho serial killer? Yeah, that's right. And Nameless is still alive, somewhere on this island. Hell, he could already be in Castaway Village. Hmm. No! Well, what's this Nameless guy look like? Unfortunately, I don't have a physical description of Nameless. I was supposed to find out from my partner after we boarded the ship, but... Ah! Yeah? What was that? Ch it came from outside. Okay, like, this episode is going to drag on way too much longer if I continue right here, so we're gonna leave this on a cliffhanger. Unfortunately, it's right here, but we will find out what that yell was. It sounded like car crash. I don't know if it told me it was car crash, but it sounded like car crash. But we will find out in the next episode, and I will see you then. Bye-bye!